When a lonely elderly man rescues a dying puppy on the street, his life changes forever. In the time it takes to nurse the puppy back to full health, the old man notices he doesn't feel lonely anymore. Months later, something alarming happens. Chen looked between the dog and the vet. He'd heard the vet's words, but somehow it didn't make sense. What would this mean for the future? Would Huan still be a normal dog? Could he even keep him? The elderly man had just thought he was doing something kind and caring when he rescued the dying puppy on the street. But now something alarming had happened that could change the future for both of them. The old man needed more answers. He looked at the big, shaggy dog lying by his feet and remembered when he'd first seen Juan shivering and filthy. The puppy had fit in one hand back then. Not now, though. Shen just hoped he'd be able to keep his companion. He'd been feeling so lonely before. Chen lived in a small Chinese village nestled between rolling hills and farmland. He lived in the village his whole life and would do anything for anyone. His children had grown up and moved to the busy cities for work, leaving him alone in the house that had once been filled with laughter and love. His wife had passed away several years earlier, and although he had many friends around the village, when his front door closed, he often couldn't help but feel consumed by the silence and the loneliness. It seemed to him that he was meant to live out the rest of his days this way, and he missed his wife deeply. His children had their own lives and families, and he was lucky if they even remembered to call once a week. Around the village, Chen was happy and helpful, a friend to everyone, but at home he was desperately sad. To ease his loneliness, Chen would often spend a lot of time walking. Being elderly, he wasn't fast, but he was still more than capable of getting about, and the walking helped to keep him fit too. The walks gave him something to occupy his mind, but they also meant he could stop and talk to plenty of people on the way. Waving goodbye to a young couple with their new baby, Chen was reminded of the time when he and his wife had been their age, and he smiled. His wife was the only woman he'd ever loved. They'd been the perfect match, and he thought about her often. As he strolled down a narrow, dusty path, something caught his eye which pulled him out of his thoughts of the past and firmly back to the present. He noticed a small, shivering bundle by the side of the road. What on earth could it be? Curiosity got the better of him and the old man approached the bundle for a better look. He was shocked to find a tiny, abandoned puppy that was weak and dirty. The sight upset him so deeply. People could be so cruel and he was shocked that someone had left the puppy to die. It was so frail that it could barely lift its head to look at the old man. Chen knew if he didn't do something quickly, then the puppy wouldn't survive. Without a second thought, Chen scooped up the poor animal and tucked it inside his coat to keep it warm, then he carried it home. Usually when Chen stepped through his front door and closed out the world, the loneliness would hit him immediately but now his mind was occupied with giving the puppy the immediate care it needed to survive. He carefully untucked it from his jacket. The puppy was so small and thin that it fit in just one of his hands. The usual wave of silence hadn't hit as he busied himself with gathering blankets and looking at what food he could offer the poor dog. Over the next few hours, the old man kept a close eye on the puppy making sure it was warm and feeding it small amounts of chicken in the moments where it seemed to regain a little bit of strength. Soon the day caught up with him and Chen found himself drifting to sleep on the sofa, unable to keep his eyes open any longer. When he awoke a few hours later, he immediately looked down at the blanket to check on the puppy, but it wasn't there. He sat up in a panic only to see that it was attempting to climb up onto the sofa next to him. Chen smiled. It was nice to see that it was doing much better. But if the puppy was going to do that, then he definitely needed a bath. His shaggy fur was severely matted and covered in dirt. Chen ran some water in the kitchen sink, gently placed the pup in, and began to scrub. Soon the water revealed beautiful chestnut, copper, and white fur beneath all the dirt. Chen wrapped the puppy in a towel and lifted him up, admiring him now he was clean. He certainly was a handsome little thing, and once again, the old man wondered how anyone could have dumped a pup as cute as this. From then on, the elderly man spent every day taking care of the puppy. Under Chen's care, he was getting stronger and more confident each day, but the old man couldn't help but wonder where he'd come from. Something wonderful had happened, though. Not once since bringing the pup home had the old man felt as sad and lonely as he had before. 
He'd not really made a plan of what to do with the puppy if it survived, but now he knew that there was no way he could part with it. No one wanted the pup, and it had already brought him so much joy. Having something to take care of and just having another presence in the house had made the world of difference. The old man decided to name his new friend Juan, meaning happiness. It seemed fitting as that was what the dog had brought to him. Soon the old man couldn't remember a time before Juan. His days were spent training the dog, and the bond between the pair grew stronger with each passing week. The walks he'd once taken alone to escape the solitude of his home were now taken with Juan, and the handsome dog attracted attention everywhere he went. People who just waved at the old man or said good morning in passing now stopped to have full conversations as they made a fuss of the beautiful dog. One question kept cropping up that Shen couldn't answer, though. People were often curious as to what breed Huan was, but the old man had no idea. He was growing rapidly, and now there was no sign of the tiny, frail pup he'd been just a few months ago. The elderly man didn't really care what breed Huan was, though. He was just happy to have a constant companion. Despite his size, the pup was gentle and calm, and the old man had trained him well. Huan was remarkably intelligent and quickly learned new tricks and commands. He would follow Chen around the house, helping with chores and assisting in tidying up the small plot of land attached to the old man's home. It was a constant source of amusement for the old man that he'd been able to train the pup to fetch various items. He began to wonder if it was worth taking the pup to the vets just to see if they could give him more information on his breed. He'd had the puppy vaccinated when he'd first brought him home, but beyond that there'd never been any other reason to take him to the vet. Knowing more about him could be useful for training though, and at least he'd then be able to answer people's questions. Life was busier than ever though with such a big dog to take care of, and soon Chen forgot about his trip to the vet. Life had definitely taken a turn for the better, and the old man was happier than he'd been in years. He wondered what his wife would think if she could see him training the huge dog now. He had no doubt she'd have been very amused by it. It was just another sign of Juan's intelligence though. He never once hurt the old man or became too boisterous. Chen had seen the intriguing looks when he took the dog out, people wondering how an old man could control a dog of that size, but after a few minutes they soon realized that Huan was just a gentle giant, and soon people would stop just to watch the incredible bond between the pair. However, as time went on, Chen began to notice something unusual. Huan was growing at an astonishing rate. At first, the old man had just assumed he was a large breed and going through a bit of a growth spurt. But when the dog carried on growing and then exceeded the size of any dog Chen had ever seen, the old man began to wonder if something else was going on. It was hard to believe that the huge dog walking beside him was the same one that he'd once tucked into his jacket. Juan seemed to be very healthy, he wasn't overweight, and he could walk and play for hours on end without getting tired. But he was just huge. Chen finally decided he should probably make an appointment with the vet. Even though his beloved companion seemed okay, he just wanted to make sure that his size wasn't causing any issues with his joints or his heart. The journey to the vet was an adventure in itself. Chen and Juan usually walked everywhere, but being in a small village, there was no veterinary clinic, so they had to go to the nearest town. The enormous dog barely fit in Chen's car, and it took some effort to maneuver him into a safe and comfortable position. That was when it really hit home just how big that dog had gotten. However, Juan seemed to enjoy his first ever car ride. His beautiful shaggy fur ruffled in the breeze, and he watched with curiosity at the cars and trees whizzing by. At the clinic, though, Chen was met with a very different response to his dog than he was used to. Everyone in the village was used to seeing Juan. They knew he was gentle and friendly and they'd gotten used to how big he was, but in the waiting room of the vet clinic, the old man couldn't help but notice people were staring and keeping their distance. No one wanted to sit near him and get anywhere close to Juan. It made the old man upset to think that people were scared of his dog when he was the most loving animal he'd ever come across. He began to regret his decision to come to the appointment, but he needed to know that his loyal companion was healthy. The vet, Dr. Lee, conducted a thorough examination of Huan. Chen watched anxiously as Dr. Lee performed various tests and measurements. Finally, after what felt like a lifetime, the vet ushered Chen into his office. The huge dog loyally followed his friend, and the three of them ended up squeezing into the small space. Dr. Lee explained that Huan was perfectly healthy, 
there was absolutely nothing wrong with his joints or any of his organs. The old man didn't think he'd ever felt so relieved as he did at that moment. However, the vet did have some alarming news that soon cast doubt in the old man's mind. The dog's extraordinary size was due to a rare genetic mutation. Although it didn't pose any threat to his health, the vet couldn't say much else about it. All he knew was that there had recently been genetically engineered dogs used in China to try and find cures for human diseases. Perhaps Juan was supposed to have been part of that experiment, or maybe he was the unwanted offspring of one of the dogs being tested on. Shen felt confused. On one hand, he was relieved that there were no health risks for his beloved dog. But on the other hand, he wondered if keeping him was even safe. If the genetic mutation had caused him to grow rapidly, what else might it have done to him? A dog of that size wasn't easy for an old man to handle, and even though Juan had always seemed to understand that he needed to be gentle, what if there was a sudden change in his behavior? He'd seen the way people had looked at the dog in the waiting room. What if they started treating him like that in the village? There were so many doubts running through his mind, but when he looked at the gentle giant, he seemed to sense that all the dog had ever wanted was to be loved. He'd been cruelly abandoned for reasons unknown, and Chen had done an amazing job of training him. The old man couldn't turn his back on his friend now. For the next few weeks, Chen tried to keep Huan away from other people. Not for their protection, but so the dog wouldn't be rejected when he just wanted a stroke. He turned his back on all the friends he'd made in the village, wrongly believing that they wouldn't want anything to do with him if they knew about the genetic mutation. But the old man was wrong. Everyone in the village loved him and Juan, and they missed seeing him around. They understood the big dog almost as much as the old man did, and they knew he would never do anything to hurt anyone. That winter, the snow came earlier than usual, and the village wasn't prepared. Some people were cut off and were quickly running out of food and fuel. Chen, despite his age, decided to take action. Even though he'd spent some time trying to hide away, he couldn't see his friends suffering, so he came up with a plan to help, one that would need Huan's size and strength if it were to work. With the help of Huan, Chen began transporting firewood and food supplies to those in need. The massive dog pulled a makeshift sled through the snow, carrying essential items to those in need. Chen was reminded of all the friendships he'd forged in the village, and seeing everyone's faces light up when they saw the dog told him that he'd got it all wrong. They loved Juan just as much as he did. Thanks to the old man and his dog, everyone pulled together and made it through the unexpected snow. When it finally began to melt, everyone was delighted to see the old man and his dog on the streets of the village again. There'd be no more hiding away for them. The alarming news of Juan's genetic mutation had come as a shock to the elderly man, as had the dog's rapid growth, but Juan was the most loving, loyal dog the man could ever have wished for, and he just helped the village survive an extremely tough window. Whatever was happening with his size had no other impact on him, and Chen was past caring what strangers thought, because he and his friends in the village knew that Juan was the gentlest giant that ever existed. The old man would probably never get the answers he wanted about where his dog had come from, or what had happened to it but he could make peace with that and go back to the wonderful life they'd had together before the visit to the vets. Juan was happier than ever, back with the people who made a fuss of him, and the old man was pleased to be back amongst his friends, and that was all that really mattered. And now it's over to you. What do you think of this story? How would you have felt hearing the alarming news about Juan? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.